Hi guys, this is Danielle from Blissful Domestic, and today I have a gearing up for baby grocery haul. So we went to Winco. We spent three hundred and forty-one dollars and seventeen cents. It is is it the second second almost the end of the second week of July. Um, so we have one other previous uh, grocery haul. So if you know, we've been doing once a week. Um, now that I am getting really close to having baby, I'll be 36 weeks on Sunday. When you guys see this video, I'll probably be around 38 weeks. Now I have never gone to 40 weeks before. Libby was born at 37 weeks. Um, I was induced with her because I had preeclampsia. But with Keegan, I went on my own at 38 weeks. At 38 weeks, I was dilated to a four, 75% of face, walking around like it was nothing. Um, when I went into, I went in for my checkup, went down to Target, my water broke. I'll have to share that story. That's a fun story. Um, so at 38 weeks, I had him. Um, so I don't know when Miss Talia will decide to come. But so what I wanted to do was really fill up our fridge, our freezer, and make sure in our pantry, make sure that we have enough stuff so that when baby Talia comes, we can just enjoy getting to know her and not have to rush to go to the grocery store or anything like that. So this is a huge haul. This is probably the biggest haul we've done in the past few months since we've just been gearing up for moving because remember we moved two weeks after Miss Talia comes. So what I did because I knew we were going to have so much stuff. Um, first I will, I'm out of breath. I am very pregnant. <laughs> um, I'll insert a picture here to show you guys what our, what we're starting with with our fridge and pantry. Um, you can see we were really low on everything. Um, all the canned goods that we used to have, like the stuff that I have canned myself, or like green beans, peas, things I usually use in baking recipe or baked recipes, like casseroles, things like that. Those things have already been packed and are ready to go to Arizona. Um, those are not things I'm going to use right now because it is hot, so I don't use my oven in the summer. Um, so where was I going with this? I have pregnancy brain friends for real. Oh. I, um, because I knew we were going to get some more freezer stuff and some breads and things like that, I did not, I couldn't just leave on the counter. I plugged in my freezer chest, um, because remember it's been unplugged for a little while, and I will be putting a bunch of stuff in the freezer, but again, this is stuff that we're going to be using in the next few weeks, and so I made sure we got enough that we'll definitely be able to use. Um, you'll see a few freezer meals, um, I wanted to make sure that we had some stuff that just quick meals again so that we don't have to I don't spend a lot of time I'm the one who makes all the meals I don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen I want to be spending it with my new baby and with Keegan and Libby with my kids and with my husband and so we got a few things that were quick and easy things that my husband could make um, he's not a cook by any means um, but man he can heat up something for real and so he wanted to make sure I had things that he could heat up either on the stove or in the microwave, just super simple so he could feed the kids or help out however he could. Um, so I'm going to show you everything that we got. I will share our menu plan. Our menu plan is a, about a three, two and a half, three week menu plan. Um, and we're just going to kind of, we, we do have with our grocery budget because it's $600 a month, we have about $100 left to be able to go back and get more milk or fresh produce. And that's something that my husband can easily go down to Walmart, wherever he wants to go down, and get some almond milk and some produce. That's super easy for my husband to do. He hates grocery shopping, um, but that's something that he's like, you know what, if you get everything else, that's something simple. I can handle that. I got that. So, which will be really helpful. So let me turn it around again. Oh, sorry. Um, and I'll, I'll show you. We have it spread out through the on the kitchen table, all throughout the kitchen. So I'm just going to show you guys everything. If I remember the prices, I'll say them. Um, but again, serious pregnant brain right now. Um, so, but I will link the full blog post below so that you guys can, if you want to look at the prices and stuff like that, just see the breakdown and all that good stuff. So let me turn around the camera and show you what we got. Okay. So I'm going to start over here with some of the freezer refrigerated stuff, just cause again, it's hot. I want to be able to toss these in the, uh, freezer chest as soon as I can. We got, um, sorry again, if I sound winded, I just, again, I'm almost nine months pregnant. Baby is all up in the lungs. So I feel like I'm winded a lot. Okay. So we got four things of orange juice concentrate, a dollar each. You know we love our orange juice. Um, we have our almond milk. I believe they were $2.48 a piece. We got eight of them. Um, I got two pork roast. Um, I love Winko's Picnic Pack. This was $5 and change. And that's more, so 
two pork roasts, but each of these pork roasts I'm going to get two meals out of. So we are going to stretch those as far as we can. We got a sour cream, shredded cheese, and I got a thing of boneless, skinless chicken breast. That was about almost $6 for the bag. Um, and it has the no hormones or you know the steroids, that yuck stuff, none of that. Got a thing of butter. We got deli turkey. All right, sorry, I had to unload my camera. I had too many videos on there. Okay, so we got the Johnsonville um, Butter Rich Cheddar. We love these. This is going to be two meals. Um, and then the boys like spicy, so they're going to try the jalapeno and cheddar. Keegan's actually been asking for that one for a while, so I told him we'd get that this time. I'm over here. We have pepperoni. Um, we're not making pizza. Keegan actually just loves snacking on these. For cheeses, we got um, Swiss provolone and pepper jack. We also got four things. These are 98 cents each of steamable veggies. So we have the California mix and two of those and two broccoli. Over here we have some produce. We have bananas. Strawberries were only $1.88 each. Um, I got a thing of blueberries. I think these were like $3.48 or something. Um, we'll definitely use those in some fruit salads. Um, now I typically, I like cucumbers no matter what, but my midwife recommended that it can actually help bring your blood pressure down. Um, it's like a natural way to be able to do it. And my blood pressure has been good, but it is one thing that I'm kind of concerned about just because I had high blood pressure with Libby. And so we've been, I've been seriously chowing down on cucumbers, drinking cucumber water, as much cucumber as I can get. And my blood pressure has been really good. So we're going to keep that up. We got cherries were $1.88 a pound. You know, when they are under $2 a pound, I grab them. Grapes were $1.48 a pound. Cherry tomatoes, um, I believe $6.98 for this tub. We have broccoli, I believe it was $2.48 or $2.68 for that bag. Um, a two pound bag of carrots. And we have freezer, or gallon bags, and plastic wrap. All right, over here, these are dirty towels on the ground. We got some Gatorade. The Gatorade is for after I have Talia, or like when I'm in labor. Um, just to help replace those electrolytes. I look at labor as like, it's like the biggest workout you're going to do. And so being able to have that just to help keep my strength up and all that good stuff. So we got some of those. Um, five, two, five dozen things of eggs. These were each under $4 a piece. Um, obviously this is for me, which it looks like. Somehow it came undone. Uh, face wash for mom. Um yogurt so snickers twix m&ms and oreos the kids have been loving to have these as like a little dessert or as a little treat um we got hubby one thing that he requested was he wanted bacon so we got some turkey bacon i believe it was two might have been 268 um our other big thing of crusty's pancake mix we actually used up this week and we still have you know a few weeks that we're here so I wanted to get another one, and this is something that's super going to be super easy to move, and then we're going to have that bag of pancake mix ready to go in our new place. So, you know, when we first get there, we don't have to eat fast food. We can I can quickly whip up some pancakes or waffles. For freezer mills, Winco, I don't know if this is like their generic brand or what it is, but these are great. A lot of those freezer skillet mills only serve like two or three people, and obviously that doesn't isn't going to work for us. So... These serve four, and I can always add in some extra veggies. Um, we got a chicken alfredo, shrimp stir fry, and a chicken fried rice. Um, and the great thing is that these can be made, again, in the skillet, something super simple that my hub husband can do, and, you know, he can be in charge of dinner then. All right, so now, all right, here's the rest of our haul. So we bought a case of the chicken ramen noodles. There's 24 in here. Uh, two things of hamburger buns. These were 68 cents each. So were the hot dog buns. We got two. Bread was 98 cents each. We got four loaves of wheat bread. Uh, two things of everything bagels. And two things of hoagie sandwiches. Because if you have seen anything, um, a trend in my uh, grocery hauls for the summer is that we love having deli sandwiches for a quick dinner or a quick lunch. So I got two packs of these. One of these will definitely, um, half of this bread is gonna go in the freezer so we can have it over the next few weeks. Uh, going back here, we have some toaster strudel, um, oranges. That's eight pounds of oranges for, I believe it was like $5. Um, hubby requested some um, bean burritos. I got 10 of those, they were 33 cents each. One thing of sausage, a strawberry cream cheese, 
which I believe was $1.77, and then the cream cheese underneath was $1.43. Two things of string cheese, two packets. Um, string cheese has been one thing that has actually really helped. I get heartburn a lot with this pregnancy, and so I think just the calcium in the string cheese helps kind of settle the acids and stuff going on, so I want to make sure we got that. Um, you can see we got the generic club crackers, and you see we have chicken and a biscuit. I don't always buy these unless they're on sale because my family loves these, but they can just go through them like nobody's business. Um, they were only $1.58, so we got three. Um, we got a bunch of pastaroni, again, just quick meals that can be fixed up. My husband can do, or even the kids can do, fettuccine alfredo, white cheddar and broccoli, and we got some four cheese corkscrew pasta. Uh, we did the same thing with the um, some more pasta and some more rice aroni. These, again, are just awesome. The kids or my husband can make them. Um, apple juice, we got two of those. My favorite, Velveeta cheese, again, quick and easy. Hubby or kids can make it. Um, two things of watermelon. One of the watermelon is for a my nephew's birthday party that we're going to this weekend. I am in charge of bringing some fruit, so I'm going to be bringing watermelon. We got some cinnamon rolls so we can make our cinnamon roll waffles. I'm going to insert a picture here that I shared on Instagram with the directions on how to do this if you have a waffle iron. Um, these are super yummy. We love them for breakfast, again, or a quick meal if, you know, your dinner plans go crazy, the day gets busy. It's a quick meal that you can bring together in about 10 minutes. Uh, we got another thing of mayo, relish, refried beans. Um, I saw at Winko they actually had the jar of cinnamon applesauce, and this was $1.98, cheaper than the applesauce cups we've been getting from Smith's. So we got a jar of that. We got a thing of gala apples, some pretzels in the back. Um, let's see if I can reach over here. My stomach. Okay. We got some tortilla chips. We have nachos planned. Vanilla wafers. These were, I think, $1.48. And some Ritz crackers. Two things of instant oatmeal. Again, quick and easy. Um, when I was trying to think of quick and easy meals to have after you have a baby, I had asked some friends and my sister-in-laws, what were some things that they, um, they recommended? And one of my sister-in-laws, Andrea, recommended the muffin mixes. Um, now, I don't necessarily want to use my oven because my muffin pan's already packed and it gets hot, but one of you, or maybe a few of you guys shared on my Facebook page how, or maybe it was Instagram, how you can do these in the waffle iron. So we're going to try that. We got apple cinnamon, raspberry, blueberry, and banana. So those will be yummy. Um, nacho cheese sauce, um, barbecue sauce. If you were looking for a barbecue sauce that does not have high fructose corn syrup in it, Kraft is one of the most cost effective, efficient, um, I guess cheapest options. Um, cause yeah. I can remember a year ago I was having to buy the more expensive kind and it makes me very happy that Kraft now does it without high fructose corn syrup and their stuff was only 98 cents. Um, we got a thing of olive oil. This is actually for the home birth. We need to have some olive oil. They use it. Um, we're going to have, it's just for during the labor. Um, no, uh, raspberry vinaigrette and Italian one. We're doing crock pot Italian chicken and I was going to do crock pot strawberry chicken, um, but they did not have strawberry. So we're going to do raspberry and I will share a video on that. Um, I have a video already filmed for this one. If it's already out there, I will link it below <laughs> or I will try to get it up there soon for you guys. Um, we have five things of cereal. We got some honey bunches of oats with almonds, two of the family sizes, frosted flakes, frosted cheddar wheat, and honey nut toasted oats. We got some granola bars, same ones we've been getting, two of the variety pack, um, and two, these are my favorite chewy dips. Now, like I said, I get a lot of heartburn, but for some reason, if I'm just, you know, I really want something sweet, just having one of these does not give me heartburn, um, and it tastes like I'm eating a candy bar. So it has been a great compromise for those pregnancy cravings. Um, and then the last thing that we have, I'm really glad Libby was actually the one that mentioned this, was did I want to get plastic forks and um, plates for after I have the baby so I do not have to clean dishes and just make it super easy. And so I was, we got picked up some plates. And then these are just those cutlery packs. So we'll be able to use those. So I think... 
the only thing that is not pictured is a gallon of Neapolitan ice cream just because again it was starting to melt so I wanted to throw that in the freezer. So this is everything that we got for $341. We are definitely stocked up for the next few weeks and now we can just wait for Miss Talia's arrival. And so yeah, I will share you guys my menu plan. Okay, and here's our menu plan. For the next few weeks we have crock pot baked potatoes, deli ham sandwiches, which will now be deli turkey sandwiches. We're going to a birthday party. We're having hot dogs and fruit, which I actually have on the menu plan twice. Um, we're going to be going out with my parents twice to dinner. Um, we're going to have breakfast. I have it written once. We'll probably have it actually a few times. Um, strawberry chicken, which actually will be raspberry chicken now. Pulled pork sandwiches. We're going to have the leftover pork over rice the next day. Or if there wasn't enough, I'd do a freezer meal. Um, we're going to do nachos, Italian chicken, Parmesan pasta with broccoli. I have enough stuff to do that meal twice. And we are going to do a Sunday pork roast and rolls. Um, we definitely have a lot more um, with those freezer meals and the pasta ronis and rice ronis. I can make even more meals. Um, so we should be able to be good for the next three weeks or so. So this is our menu plan. And let me know what you guys are doing. And if you're new to this channel, hit the button and subscribe. Thanks, guys.